How do you audition for the job of Puppy Bowl ref? Hey everybody, I'm Dan Shackner. I'm the ref of the Puppy Bowl. This is Foster Pup Mocha, who will be in the Puppy Bowl. I've been a longtime animal lover, dog lover specifically. I grew up with dachshunds and watched Animal Planet like any other fan. Right out of college, I worked in TV production. I was a host for many years. I hosted for various other networks, including Animal Planet. You know, dogs and cats aren't the only dapper species out there. Check out Max here, our ferret fashionista. Pretty nice hoodie, eh, pal? And 10 years ago, the job of the ref opened up. I knew it was a big job, so I created a, like a two-minute audition tape. <laughs> I think I like did fake refereeing for like my fish at the time and my two young babies. They were young boys and also random dogs that I found in dog parks. Listen, you are a star. You're a champion. You hear me? You can do it. I did whatever I could. I cobbled together an audition tape. Animal Planet liked it. They hired me for the job, and here we are 10 years later, living the dream job. All right, that's an illegal tackle. 10 yard penalty. My first ever Puppy Bowl was Puppy Bowl 8. That was just a blur, because I was getting used to the entire scene. I mean, you know, at that point it was like somewhere 60, 70 dogs, um, and I was just trying to understand the whole process, and it is a huge machine that goes into making the show that you see. It's just two hours, but it, it, it's days, it's months of preparation. I didn't realize how big it would be at the time. I just knew it was really unique. I was really excited to do it. It was something that I loved, but I thought of it as more of a passion project than anything else. Not something that would take over my entire life, but it has in the best possible way because it's made me directly aware and then involved with the rescue community, which is a fantastic community and then through the years I've started to learn uh, not just what goes into the production but I've learned how to contribute to the production so I've written a few segments when I went down to Puerto Rico to do the hurricane rescue after Hurricane Maria with the Sato project I was able to produce that segment that's something that might be my best Puppy Bowl memory because again, it was me giving back, me being able to use my role in uh, something that is good, not just at Puppy Bowl and on stage, but around the world. And about five years ago, maybe six years ago, I began fostering and that just grew and grew and grew. And up until this point, I've probably fostered somewhere between 25 and 30 dogs. And yes, they've all gotten adopted. And I've worked here in New York City constantly on fundraisers, just using what the little bit that I can do, which is I have some talent as a host, I, I have some ability to like bring people together, to read words off a page and not screw them up. Well, I've used those talents to raise money for dogs. And so, uh, for example, every week here in New York City, I host a trivia night fundraiser for a different local dog rescue. And it kind of fulfills the mission that I've started to take very seriously, which is, look, if you can't adopt, you foster. If you can't foster, well, you can volunteer. If you can't volunteer, you can promote. There's always something you can do uh, to get involved with rescue. Even if you only have a few minutes a day, there's something you can do. And that's the lesson, the big lesson that I took away and continue to take away from this. Uh, there's always a little something that we can do and there's nothing like dogs to bring a community together.